Someone there? Don't shut up. We're so dead. He's into this again. Okay. Good. Hey. What? What's happening? It's not mine either. Why are you dying? Fuck you. favorite that one what the hell's this that one goes there now because that's my new thing and then Yep, I'll be with you as soon as I uh, slowly stumble towards you. What the hell? Stop it! Stop it! You can't... Point the way. Right, I can actually move now. Wasn't sure Piper could carry enough.
Oh, right. Oh. Hey, Scabber. Let's trade. Sure. Let's take a look. You got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. Bugger off. Looking for trouble, I hope. Oh, I know what to do.
How the hell is this thing so heavy? <laughs> Perhaps something other than a paragraph. Why is that got a bike chain on it? Well. Does the suppressor actually make a difference? I don't think it does. Right. Um, come on, I must be carrying loot or something. Right, there we go, cook food. Yep. Let's see what you got. Oh, goody.
Oh, they should be changing over in a minute. <laughs> and Percy's going back in, and Crazy Lady's going back in. Hey, Arturo. We can talk about guns, or maybe you want to cons. Let's see what you have. Self defense at its best. Okay. Myrna. You again. All right, got plenty of supplies. Let's see what you got. Everything you need. Right. All right. Let's go find Valentine. <laughs> I've kept him waiting long enough, I think. Or have I? Did I kill Swan? I don't think I did, actually. I tell you what, if this doesn't, w yeah, he's still there. I tell you what, if this doesn't work anymore, right there we go. Gonna be your last mistake. <laughs> really held your own there, Blue. Right. Right. Let's hope it doesn't break again. All right. You hear that swan? Do his power first. Me and you.
telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> what was that meant to trigger? Is that right? Is there like a thing around here? It's a legendary trigger, man. That's why it is, man. Legendary out there, right? I didn't imagine that. Three for the taking. Oh, it's almost ten millimeter. So where was the legendary? There was one. I knew there was. Surely. Did I imagine it? Am I stupid? Yeah, there was one. And it wasn't even worth finding anyway. Legendary. Right, can I have something? I have something good. Can I have an explosive 10 minute pistol or like a combat shotgun or something? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs>
That's legendary. Still think of me. Something's out. Oh. It hadn't come to that. But, ha, but, two, but, oh, come on. Do you mean like a kneecapper, like a kneecap combat rifle or like a, a kneecapper 10 millimeter or something? Come on. Be nice to me for once. I mean, this rifle's not bad, but. So much better I can have. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time. I think I might have shot that guy a little bit between the legs and up a bit. Let's get this over with, Ah, oh, fuck, I should have been taking the submachine gun, shouldn't I? Bullets. Well, if anyone could figure out a good use for it. Piper, enough with the stupid. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hump? Nah, nah, nah. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old pri My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. 
I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. Well, I was hoping it was smoother than that, but oh well. Doors on the front. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got. Me. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Hmm? You're listening to a trigger man. Where have you gone? Yourself. Yo, Psst. Don't know if you can carry much else. Fucking two ball cues. Can't believe that. Fucking unbelievable that is. all these submachine guns worth? Not that much. Let's drop them. I only, need one, only wanted the ammo really. Yeah. Ew. What's 
mine is yours. Or what's yours is mine. Or whichever, whatever that trophy said. Okay. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should've left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dollar, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men? Now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here fast. One. Two, three. Oh. Let's be honest, in the realistic world, he was probably going to be lying. Plus, I wanted a submachine gun anyway. <laughs> Anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I... Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Uh-huh. Hey. Blue, you got a minute? For you, Piper? Two minutes. Hell, 
maybe even two and a half. Oh, uh, great. Weird, but great. Just what you said about Nat. How long is she waiting to say this? And I'm, not not this. I'm not going to be the deciding factor in what becomes of Nat. She's going to figure that out for herself. It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. A little girl in a printing press. Sounds like a rich life you've made for yourself. Ain't that the truth? I mean, I never started the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. It turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. That was a long time ago. People can't still treat you that way. You'd think, but if anything, it's gotten worse. Sure, I've earned some friends back in town, but now I've even got a reputation outside Diamond City. That's why I'm so lucky to have someone like you. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but being here with you now, now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just blue. <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? All we've been through? I've already seen you at your worst. And you're still here, aren't you? <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. Hooray! And I got level as well. Of course I'm lovable, I'm TV! No? Yeah, she's walking away now. to talk to people I don't know. Shut up then. Jesus. Shopping at night? Diamonds, we sell everything. Skip packs. Edition out of... Seems to be growing well. I'd like to trade some items. Fuck. She's closed. You need something, General? 
I just want to trade a few things. No, I don't. I want to fucking... No, I don't want to fuck, but... Heads up. Where to? Okay. 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 This is Radio Freedom. Broadcasting all day, all I want to trade a few things. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. Howdy. Hey! Let's trade. Do bit. Don't worry. You need something, General? Heads up. Sure. Take a peek. Yoink, 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 yoink. Castle Armory is at your service, General. What do you need? Let me see what you've got. Sure thing, General. Pool cues. Two pool cues. Like this is radio freedom broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. I don't have any stim packs though. Uh, I can maybe do a few waves. I do have some. Something's out there. What the hell? How the hell is this happening? I don't know why that So, in that situation, I guess it's kind of the same question. Legendaries. Damn it. Help? 
What the hell? Why are you flying away like this? <laughs> what happened to my head? Why are all the enemies flying around like that? <laughs>